Haji Mukisa Karim omusomi wedua akola kusonga izenja uli. Ononye zemiri mjiganyi, business zoko la zizifwa, oyagala visa eganye, sende zofu na ziziku hita mungalo. Esonga zona Haji Mukisa Karim ya azimala. Eyandi muetaze mfune kunamba yesimu 0 msambu msambu mnana, chenda mubiri, chenda muemu, ana muemu. Haji Mukisa Karim omusomi wedua. Okay, welcome back from the weekend that I believe was so fantastic for you. My name is uh, Melas Milo, a.k.a. Fula. This is uh, The Buzz UG, and in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok, uh, Melas Milo, a.k.a. Fula. I'm back to keep you posted on uh, the big stories making headlines in the country that is in the world of current affairs and also in uh, the entertainment industry. Uh, but of course, don't forget to get in touch with uh, Haji Mukisa Karim Omsomi Wedua. Uh, call him today and get everything sorted in your camp. Now, starting from uh, Mbale. Uh, in Mbale, there is a journalist who has been arrested for filming Pastor Alozias Bujingo. Yes, in Mbale, there is a journalist who has been arrested uh, for filming Pastor Alozias Bujingo. Recently, uh, Pastor Lozias Bujingo was in Mbale, you know, to pray, uh, you know, for the people that side of uh, Mbale and uh, they were at uh, Mbale Secondary School. This journalist, identified as uh, um, Benson Mukisa, was also right there to cover the event. Uh, then uh, there was a time uh, he started uh, flying the drone over the Washpas right there. And uh, he was then arrested uh, by Pastor Bujingo's uh, security team. And uh, they, they said that uh, he was posing a terror attack on their boss, that is uh, Pastor Alozias Bujingo. Uh, but they also said that uh, he did cover the event without their authorization. Yes, so he was arrested and taken to Mbale Central Police Station where he's uh, detained right about now. Yes, uh, Benson Mukisa is in police custody at the moment, but very many people are not happy with uh, Pastor Alozias Bujingo. I mean, why would you arrest a journalist doing his job? Uh, that is the biggest question that is circulating on a different social media platforms. And uh, we also remember recently His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu, a.k.a. Bobby Wine, the president of uh, National Unity Platform, uh, said that uh, beware of false prophets he actually quoted the bible uh, that is uh, matthew chapter 7 verse 15 he said that uh, beware of uh, uh, you know false prophets hiding in this in in the sheep skin and uh, very many people thought that uh, you know that verse was uh, directly going to uh, pastor alozias bujingo but i don't want to take that direction uh, that is uh, the latest update coming in from uh, that side of uh, mbale you know, police have started investigations that side. And uh, when I get more details on that story, I'll be keeping you posted uh, right here on uh, The Buzz UG. Now, in other news, uh, still in Mbale, uh, two police officers have been poisoned that side of Mbale. Yes, two police officers have been poisoned that side of Mbale. Uh, actually, uh, one has been confirmed dead. Yes, one of the two police officers has been confirmed dead, and this police officer has been identified as John Bosco Ameni. Now, the information behind this story, uh, these two police officers went to a restaurant, uh, you know, to have a meal, and uh, everything went very well. They had a meal, they ate their food, and everything got done. But uh, later, uh, you know, the, the health condition of these police officers started deteriorating. Uh, they were rushed to hospital, and uh, on reaching the hospital, one police officer was confirmed dead, and as we speak right now, the other is admitted in hospital, but in a very, very critical condition. And... Uh, the samples uh, have been picked from uh, the body and uh, they were brought right here in Wandegia at the government laboratory to confirm exactly whether it was poison or not. But uh, that is uh, the latest update coming in from uh, that side. And of course, we hope that very soon we shall be getting to understand whether it was poison or not. But uh, it is very, very sad from that side of Mbale. May his soul rest in peace. And of course, we wish a very quick recovery to the police officer in the hospital fighting for his life. Life. Now, away from that, if you have been on social media, yesterday uh, there were reports uh, circulating, especially on Twitter, indicating that uh, President Museveni has appointed the new governor, Bank of Uganda. Yes, uh, yesterday on Twitter, reports circulated indicating that uh, President Museveni has appointed the new governor, Bank of Uganda, and uh, that is uh, uh, Professor Nwagaba Augustus. Yes, Professor Nwagaba Augustus. 
But uh, the Deputy Presidential Press Secretary, that is uh, Farouk Chirunda, has uh, dismissed these reports circulating. Uh, he said that um, President Museveni hasn't made any appointments regarding this matter. Uh, Farouk Chirunda said that uh, if President Museveni makes such an appointment, definitely the country will be updated uh, through the right channels, but not just as it is circulating on social media. That is uh, Mr. Farouk Chirunda, the Deputy Presidential Secretary, right there confirming that uh, President Museveni hasn't uh, appointed uh, the new Governor Bank of Uganda. This position of uh, Governor Bank of Uganda fell vacant last year in January uh, 2022. Yes, in January last year 2022, and uh, that was after we lost uh, the former governor Bank of Uganda, Professor Emmanuel Mutebile uh, to Musime. Uh, he died in January. And up to now, uh, President Museveni hasn't appointed the new governor Bank of Uganda. We are still waiting. We don't know what he's waiting for. But um, yeah, that is uh, the latest update coming in from uh, that side. Uh, President Museveni hasn't appointed the new governor Bank of Uganda. So uh, disregard all the updates or all, all the information circulating on uh, different social media platforms. <music> Now, away from that, the government of uh, United Kingdom has warned Uganda of another possible terrorist attack in Uganda. Yes, this comes two weeks after the government of uh, America also warned Uganda of another possible terrorist attack. However, the government of the uh, UK did not give more details on this information. They didn't even give uh, evidence on this information, but uh, that is uh, the latest coming from uh, that side that uh, any time from now, uh, you know, the uh, Uganda could be attacked by terrorists any time from now. We don't know which type of attack, but uh, that is uh, the information coming from uh, the government of United kingdom uh, this comes weeks after we lost uh, over 40 people in kasese and of course we re we remember what happened that side over 40 people were killed in kasese by the adf according to the government of uganda uh, we also remember uh, the 54 UPDF soldiers we lost in Somalia killed by the Al-Shabaab militants. Yes, so all these are attacks on Uganda. But of course, uh, we don't know how this time around is going to happen. But uh, we pray that it doesn't happen. And uh, we call upon the security agencies to be on standby. Otherwise, two foreign governments have warned Uganda. That means something is wrong and uh, we should be very, very careful. Okay. <laughs> Now, away from that, and uh, we are heading to the entertainment industry. Yesterday, uh, reports started circulating on uh, different social media platforms indicating that Isaac Kawadia Case is leaving uh, Next Media and is actually joining Spark TV. You must have seen those reports making rounds on a different social media platforms. Oh, yes, I have also received those reports right here on the Buzz UG. And according to the reports that I have received right here, Isaac Kawaliake is, is in the last stages of uh, signing a contract with uh, Spark TV. We all know that uh, very many times, Next Media has always taken uh, NTV's great journalists, uh, talk about Solomon Seruancha, talk about Raymond Mojuni, uh, talk about Sheila Nduhuchire, Joel Kamadi, oh my God, Andrew Kabura, Zahara Toto, Anatalia Ozi, and very many other journalists from uh, this side of uh, Nation Media. And uh, this time around, Nation Media was like, you you guys you have always taken our journalists yes so we're also coming for your very own and uh, this time around they thought of uh, isaac awadiake so anytime isaac awadiake is joining spark tv according to the reports making rounds on a uh, different social media platforms when i finally get to confirm this information i'll be keeping you posted right here on uh, the buzz ug you know i'm the home of all the latest updates happening in the country so you don't have to worry about anything <laughs> Now, away from that, speaking about Lillian Bowersy, the musician, the son identified as Asante, she sired with uh, Mose Radio, has joined the secondary school, and uh, Lillian Bowersy is very, very, very happy. Uh, she actually took the excitement on her social media platforms. She thanked her family, she thanked the friends, and actually, Mose Radio must be very, very happy in heaven where he is right now. Yes, Lillian Bowersy is doing a very, very great job right there. Congratulations to you, Lillian Bowersy. And of course, your son Asante for joining secondary school at this particular time.
Yeah, those are some of uh, the stories that I got for you right here on the Buzz UG. And of course, I'm still gathering more stories for you. Uh, what you have to do, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok. I'm Melas Milo, a.k.a. Fula. Thank you so much for following me that side. Actually, I have over 5,000 followers that side of uh, TikTok. And I really appreciate you so big time for following me. Thank you so much. But don't forget to contact Hajj. Mukisa Karim Om Somi Wedua on that number on your screen and he will get everything uh, bothering you sorted in a blink of an eye. My name is Amelaz Milo aka Fula. I'll be right back with another story. It is a bye for now. Haji Mukisa Karim Om Somi Wedua akola kusonga izenja uli. Onunye zemiri mjiganyi. Business zoko la zizifwa. Oyagala visa eganyi. Sende zofu na ziziku hita mungalo. Esonga zona Haji Mukisa Karim ya azimala. Eyandi muetaze mfune kunamba yesimu 0 msambu msambu mnana. Chenda mubiri. Chenda muemu. Ana muemu. Haji Mukisa Karim Om Somi Wedua.